Hello friends, welcome to Ace Tutorials. Today we are going to solve some problems on second order system. The step response of a second order system in Laplace domain is given by C of S is equal to 600 divided by S into S plus 10 into S plus 60. In this, we need to find the damping ratio and natural frequency of the system and to find the unit ramp of the system C of T. In this given C of S is equal to 600 divided by S into S plus 10 into S plus 60. In first case we need to find damping ratio that is zeta we need to find and then natural frequency that is omega n. These two things we need to find in first case. In the question he has given step response that means R of s value is given 1 by s. Now in this you can see C of s is equal to 1 by s that is nothing but R of s. If I take that R of s value to the left hand side I will get C of s by R of s is equal to 600 divided by s plus 10 into s plus 60. By multiplying this denominator term I will get C of s by R of s is equal to 600 divided by s square plus 70 s plus 600. We know the standard closed loop transfer function of second order system that is C of s by R of s is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Now by comparing this denominator with this given transfer function we will get omega n square is equal to 600 omega n square is equal to 600 that is natural frequency omega n is equal to root of 600 omega n is equivalent to 24.49 radians per second this is the solution of natural frequency that is omega n for damping ratio zeta, we can compare this term with the given transfer function that is 2 zeta omega n is equivalent to 70. 2 zeta omega n is equal to 70. We know omega n value by substituting that in this 2 into zeta into omega n 24.49 is equivalent to 70 that is zeta is equivalent to 70 divided by 2 into 24.49 will get zeta is equivalent to 1.42. In this you can see zeta is equivalent to 1.42 that is zeta greater than 1 therefore it is a over damped oscillatory system. Next we will find output equation C of t for unit ramp input. To find the second solution, we know C of S by R of S is equal to 600 divided by S plus 10 into S plus 60. We need to find output equation C of T for an input unit ramp that is R of S is equivalent to 1 by S square. In this for unit ramp R of S value is equivalent to 1 by S square. For output equation C of S we will take this R of S to the right hand side. C of S is equivalent to R of S into 600 divided by S plus 10 into S plus 60 by substituting R of S value 1 by S square in this equation we will get C of S is equivalent to 1 by S square into 
600 divided by s plus 10 into s plus 60 by rewriting this equation c of s is equal into 600 divided by s square into s plus 10 into s plus 60 by applying partial fraction by applying partial fraction to this we'll get c of s is equal into a divided by s for this s square we'll write first s plus b by s square next plus c by s plus 10 next plus d by s plus 60 so we know c of s value that is 600 divided by s square into s plus 10 into s plus 60 is equal into uh, in this the LCM is s square into s plus 10 into s plus 60 by that we'll get s term get cancel we'll get a s into s plus 10 into s plus 60 plus in this s square term get cancelled b into s plus 10 into s plus 60 plus in this case s plus 10 to s plus 10 get cancelled therefore c into s square into s plus 60 then here in this case s plus 60 term get cancelled by that we'll get d into s square into s plus 10 whole divided by s square into s plus 10 into s plus 60 this and this get cancelled we'll get 600 is equal to a s into s plus 10 into s plus 60 plus b into s plus 10 into s plus 60 plus c into s square into s plus 60 plus d into s square into s plus 10 now in this we can consider s is equal to 0 value one case and another case s is equal to minus 10 and then third case s is equal to minus 60 and the fourth case we can compare with s to the power two value from right hand left hand side first we'll consider s is equal to 0 by considering s is equal to 0 you can see this whole term becomes 0 and in this this term becomes 0 and this term becomes 0 10 into 60 will get b 600 and uh, in this this term becomes 0 and this term also becomes 0 only we'll get here b 600 is equal to 600 that is 600 is equal to b 600 b 600 therefore b value is 1 next by considering s is equal to minus 10 this whole term becomes 0 s is equal to minus 10 this term becomes 0 and in this case s is equal to minus 10 when i substitute s uh, c into minus 10 to the power of 2 into minus 10 plus 60 in this case this term becomes 0 that means here i can write uh, 600 that is the left hand side value is equivalent to c into minus 10 to the power 2 into uh, minus 10 plus 60 by this i will get c value is equivalent to 0 0.12 and next by substituting s is equal to minus 60 uh, this whole term becomes 0 this whole term becomes 0 by substituting s is equal to minus 10 sorry minus 60 and in this case this also by substituting s is equal to minus 60 this term also becomes 0 here we will get uh, d minus 60 to the power 2 into minus 60 plus 10 is equal to 600 600 is equal to d into minus 60 to the power of 2 into minus 60 plus 10 from this i will get d is equal to minus 3.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 
so this is the d value now by comparing s to the power 2 coefficient from right hand side and left hand side here you can see i am getting one a s square c s square and d s square and uh, left hand side i don't have any s square term then i will equate here zero you can see the fourth case a plus c plus d is equal to zero i know in this c and d a is equal to minus c minus d therefore by substituting c and d value i will get a is equal to minus 0.116 this is the a value now by substituting a b c d value in this above equation i will get this is equal to a value minus 0.116 divided by s plus b value is 1 1 divided by s square plus c value is 0 0.12 0 0.12 divided by s plus 10 and then c d value i got here minus 3.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 i will write here minus 3.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by s plus 60 now to get the output equation c of t we'll apply the laplace inverse to this equation by applying laplace inverse c of s can be written as Laplace inverse of C of S is C of T is equal to minus 0.116 will be written as it is 1 by S is 1 plus 1 by S square is T plus 0.12 as it is 1 by S plus 10 that is 1 by S plus A uh, Laplace inverse is E power minus A T in this case A value is 10 by considering that E power minus 10 t minus 3.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 as it is 1 divided by s plus 60 that is in this case a value is 60 therefore e power minus 60 t this is the output equation for unit ramp input hope you understood this problem for more such videos like and subscribe my channel thank you